What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a video for you guys today. Today's team is a Ho-Oh Heat team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. And shout out to my boy Will for dropping this team. I believe that is your name. That's what it says over on Instagram, but down at the bottom it says Andre. So Will or Andre, thank you so much for dropping this team. Seriously, I cannot wait to get after it. But rocking out in our front spot in the top left corner is our main man, OO. Oh, oh, over here is Fire and Flying type. We got Sacred Fire for Stab, Brave Bird for Stab. We have Substitute for our nice little move to actually block some hits, and EQ for our coverage. We also got the Regenerator ability and Leftovers item, so we can actually get a lot more HP and use out of this Ho-Oh. Right next to it is our Nine Tails with the Drought and that Heat Rock, so our uh, Drought can actually last eight turns instead of five. We got Fire Blast, Solar Beam, Nasty Pot set up, and Scorching Sands. Cannot have a Sun Team without the Pokemon behind my face cam. That is Venusaur over here with Chlorophyll double speed or doubles its speed in the uh, Sun with the Black Sludge to get some more HP. We got Giga Drain again for more HP. Sleep Powder because Sleep Powder is amazing. Growth to set up and Sludge Bomb for our Stab Poison move. Right next to him is a Pokemon that's going to be able to rock out in a Trick Room. We got Rhyperior with Solid Rock ability, Weakness Policy because you know if they proc that it's pretty much pretty much gg with the right period that thing is an absolute monster we got high horsepower for stab rock slide for stab our coverage move is actually a ghost move with shadow call and protect as our final move bottom left corner is our support tailwind mon with whimsicott prankster ability focus ash with energy ball tailwind memento and moon blast then in the final spot another pokemon if you're gonna have a sun team this pokemon's gotta be on it we got charizard solar power life orb there's much more i need to say this thing is an absolute beast in the sun Fire Flying type with Flamethrower, Air Slash, Dragon Pulse, and Focus Blast for our coverage moves. Guys, you want to try out the team for yourself? You guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Top on that rank ladder and try to get some wins with this Ho-Oh team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Evelta team alongside with Metagross, Tapu Fini, Raichu, Incineroar, and Grimstone. So our Ho-Oh is actually physical attacking, so we got to watch out for that Intimidate there. He also has the fake out, he has all that good stuff. Um, who do I think he's gonna lead? That's the real question. He might lead Incineroar or Raichu. And do, I think I have Protect on Venusaur, right? Are we rocking Protect on this thing? We are not. Okay. That's kind of scary because now we can go into a Flare Blitz and a Fake Out to take me out. I could go Nine Tails. I could go Whimscott. Hmm. I could go Nine Tails Charizard as a lead. Not too bad there. Hmm. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? I don't want to do that, bring Ho-Oh and Venusaur in the back end. I don't like that. He can't set a Trick Room. We can pretty much roll off from there. The reason I don't want to leave that Venusaur is because he can just fake out and Flare Blitz it. Right? And that would just do a lot of damage to it. Actually, that's kind of fine because... I actually want to do that. Don't control you. I ain't going to put you in here. The Venusaur goes down like that. We have Scorching Sands. We do have Scorching Sands on the Ninetales, which would do work up against that Raichu and that Incineroar. It's not Stab, but still. But still, that's pretty solid. Dude, I do still wish we had Protect, but we do outspeed. But again, the Fake Out is just going to pop out here. I could swap. I'm thinking I should have led the Charizard just for a safe little play there. Let's see what he does. I think he's going to go Incineroar and uh, Raichu. Let's see. Let's see if I was right. Now, we got you about the Grimstar. Okay, so I'm 100% fine with this turn. 100% fine with this turn. Gonna be able to drop these two out here. Get after it. Um, okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Drow's popping. Oy. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Dark Roar is popping as well. I am going to be able to drop a fire move if I want to. I could set up a nice spot. I could Scorching Sands user. Those uh, sands and targets also made leave him with a burn. Really fine. Uh, or should I just fire blast? I think I want to fire blast the star and I am going to put. You, ooh, I could sludge bomb. I could totally sludge bomb. But I think I am going to. I could grow. I'm just going to throw Yvelta to sleep. I'm going to say, hey, yo, Yvelta, go to bed. Go to bed, baby. He's going to die to Max, man. He's going to try to get off Max Airstream. We're going to put that boy to sleep. Does he have fake out on Grimstrong? Now, now that's a scary little That's a scary little thing if he does have fake out on Grimstrong. But if that's the case, if he takes out my uh, Venusaur right here, I'm going to get Ho out here. I'm going to die to Max. I'm going to get him from there. But we getting after it. This thing could be a soul basset. Just like ours was. You gonna set up a screen. A lovely little screen. Front low play. We are pretty special attacking here. 
Here's my sleep powder. It does connect. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Hey, hey, yo. Go to bed. Say, yo, dude, it's time for bed. Fire Blast coming out here. Doing some big damage in the heat, but of course, Light Train is going to neglect some damage. The Velta is slumped. Okay. So, do we just start doing damage all around? I could set up a nasty plot. I could set up a nasty plot. And I could set up a growth if I, re if I really want to. I could plot and I can grow. But I think I might just Scorching Sands. Over onto you. Just do a little bit of damage. And I could, I'm actually going to double up. I am going to double up into this slot. Actually, let's just do this. Let's go here, let's plot. Let's nasty plot and sludge bomb into the other slot. And then we'll get after you about the uh, next turn. Because it's definitely gotta be slumped this turn, right? Just set up a reflect as well. We get both these things out. We still have the heat for plenty of turns here. Here goes my nice big old sludge bomb. Do we pick up the KO with this? We might. We do not. Okay, so I'll do it next turn. Here goes my plot. We plotting, baby. Hopefully this thing is still slumped. So I can hit it with a fire blast next turn. And with my nasty plot set up. You felt it's still sleeping. Let's go. Okay, so we can sludge bomb and we can uh, fire blast over onto that slot. Let's get it. I could Dynamax him. I really could Dynamax him if I really want to. But I'm just going to go for the sludge bomb. Take out. And then uh, hopefully this fire blast will actually hit and do some damage onto it. This is his last turn. He's going to withdraw the Grimstar and we're dropping a Sludge Bomb into the slot. So who's he going after? He's going after Incineroar. That's fine. Intimidate's really not going to do too, too much to us. Considering we're both special attacking. He does have the screens up. He does have the screens up, which I do not like at all. It was my Sludge Bomb. Can we get a poison on this thing? Can we get a little poison. A little zesty poison on it. Give it to me. No poison. Fire Blast does connect. Doing some decent damage on the Yavelta. And this thing could be a Soul Besset. And it's still slumped. So Dynamax turns out the way there. That is lovely. Um, I could see Incineroar being goggled. I really can't see him being goggled. But I am going to go for this. And I'm, I am going to also Sludge Bomb over onto the above spot. It's our plan. He, he might fake me out and get it from my Venusaur. He's going to withdraw you. Okay. I like that turn. Oh my god, and we're getting a Sludge Bomb over onto that slot. Bro, first battle's looking real good. Real good. He might fake me out, but still. It's looking real good. E either Pokemon I'm hitting here is it's it. It's a win. There you go. Sludge Bomb. Oh, yeah. We might not even bring out Ho-Oh here. Force of Sand's coming out. This might KO. It's not. We need that stab boost. We need that stab boost for real. There's the berry. Berry's popping out here. The berry is popping out here. Pokemon are real bulky. Real bulky. He's gonna go for the fire, but it's okay. That's fine. If Venusaur goes down. That's totally fine. I'm bringing out Ho-Oh, and I'm getting my Dynamax off. I can't get off a easy Solar Beam, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to Solar Beam and Speed Boost here. I want to see stats. I want to see stats for Steve. Look at these guys. EV trained all up. Oh, these teams look gorgeous. Seems looking real good. Looking real good. Okay. Um, Get out the Ho-Oh. I'm going to Dynamax him. This thing's shiny, too. Oh, my Lord. It's going to be gorgeous. It's like gold. Right? Yeah. Dude, that's a beautiful shiny. That is a beautiful shiny. Okay, I think I just drop a big old solar beam here. It's not plus two. I drop a solar beam. And I get after a uh, Dynamax. Uh, do I get special defense boost? I mean, I could. But I'd rather start to uh, get my speed up. And just KO him with this stab move here. We do have Sacred Fire. Sacred Fire is such a cool move. It really is. We pretty much play this one really, really well. We've been playing so good. I think... The past two videos were both 3-0, yeah. Because before the past two videos, it was a Rayquaza when we went 2-1. And, and then we went to Yvelta, which was 3-0. Then Diablo 3-0. And now we're sitting here getting started off strong in battle number one. Solar Beam's popping. This will hit in one turn because we're in the sun. Get after it. Uh, I think this should KO Tapu Fini, right? Plus two Solar Beam. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good here. Get him out of here. Get him going. Dude, Ho-Oh is so cool. He's so cool. Him and Lugia. I don't know who's cooler. I really do not know. They're both, like, they're both top tier. They're both so sick looking. Like, it's like, I don't even know who's cooler. It's kind of like Polkia Diablo. They're both, like, on the same level for me. Like, Kyogre Groudon, they're sick too, but I have Kyogre a little bit higher than Groudon. But it's real close. I'm trying to think. Like, Xerneas and Yavelta are close too, but I do like uh, Xerneas better. I am a Xerneas fan. I know a lot of people are Yvelta fans. Uh, Sigolia and uh, 
or Segalio, however you pronounce it, and Lunala. They're cool, but I'm a Lunala person. Oh, what other ones are there? What other ones are there? There's the black and white ones, but they're kind of the same, you know? <laughs> like, but we're showing here really, really well. Yveltas still slumped. Actually, I'm just going to go here. I'd rather just uh, get a move that's like 100%. I'm going Solar Beam, and I'm just going to flare and finish up this battle here. That's GG's. That's GG's. This guy should just quit. Yep, there it is. 1-0 to get this started. Come to a second battle. Try to get a win streak rolling. Second battle on its way, and this one's looking a little tough for us, guys, considering he has a Kyogre on. I think it's set rain. It could do a lot of work up against a lot of my Pokemon, so we gotta watch out for that. He also has Sableye, uh, Spectre, which is an absolute beast, Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Jellicent. So we can set off a Trick Room as well. Um, who should I go into? I'm thinking Venusaur would be a good lead. And Whimsicott, so he doesn't take weather control on me. And I can bring Ninetales in the back. Right? I think that's pretty good. Nine tails in the back and then Ho-Oh in the final position. That could be nice as well. It really could be. But the thing I'm scared of is he's going to lead that Sableye into the Kyogre. Fake out and kind of get rid of my Venusaur from there. But in that case, I could just... uh, Because he does have Ice Beam. Hmm. Okay, let's get after it. I, th I think we should be fine. I could set up a Tailwind, take speed. I, I don't think he has a lot to uh, speed me around besides Trick Room. And if he does roll Trick Room, or if he does lead Jelly Scent, then we just won't roll Tailwind, and we'll try to just get after it with, like, an Energy Ball and a uh, stab, uh, what do we have, Giga Drain? Or I can just start with the Sleep. We can do a lot here. We can do a lot here. Let's see what he goes into. He's going to go into Sableye and Jelly Scent. So he is going to try to set up the Trick Room all day. And in that case, what do I try to do here? What do I try to do here? I do not have Taunt on my Wimscott. Maybe he thinks I have Taunt. If he thinks I have taunt, that would be the play, but I am going to try to put to sleep. <laughs> I am just going to try to put that thing to sleep. And, uh, I'm going to get after Sableye. Let's see what he does here. Do you think I'm taunting? Please fake out my Whimsicott. Please fake out my Whimsicott, and I can put you to sleep. Fake out comes too. No! <laughs> so he's going to be able to get off that Trick Room, no problem. Moonblast is going to pop out here. Yo, he's doing some damage on that thing. Maybe KOing it. Yep, just getting rid of it. That's fine. See you later, punk. And I do have Memento. I do have Memento. And here comes... Oh, he's tricking. But I can still... I'm, I'm still going to be able to put it to sleep. What's he going to give me? Jelly Scent switch items with... Whimsicott... Oh, we got a Choice Scarf. We got a Choice Scarf here. So we are going to still be able to put the same sleep. So Whimsicott gets the Choice Scarf. And this thing gets the Focus Ash. Okay. Uh, depending on who he goes into... I, am I Choice into a, uh, a Moon Blast? That's not too bad. I'm going to go into Kyogre here. He's going to set Rain. I might just swap out my boy now. I might swap a Dynamax to Venus one. It might be play. Right? That, that, that could be play. I could put this sleep. I think Dynamax is gonna be gonna be the play. Look at this, we got we got a lot of we got a lot of options here. Get after this Kyogre and go Pokemon and swap into the Night Tails. I'm with it. I'm liking this. Let me just have Ho in the back. Now we have a choice scarf. Uh, Whimsicott? <laughs> so that's totally fine. <laughs> We're gonna swap you out. They're gonna take it, our weather control. This is exactly why we brought Ninetales in the third, fourth slot. So we can do this. So we can do this. So we didn't lead it, and then he can just have total weather control on us. I can totally swap him out next turn as well. But big G Max fine last year. We're not gonna Dynamax Ho oh this turn. We're just gonna have it as a nice little back end Pokemon. And I really do like having regenerators and leftovers on that, so we can swap out, get HP, or stay in the game, get HP. Like, either way, your, your Ho-Oh is just going to keep getting HP and staying alive a little bit longer. But I love Venusaur's uh, uh, Gigantamax. It looks like it has a little crown on its head. <laughs> Here goes my Vine Lash. Just should be able to dump on the Kyogre. We should be looking pretty good in this battle. Kyogre's dead. Dude, we are just dominating. We are just dominating on this rank ladder in Series 8. We get a crit, too. We get a crit, which is dope. I think we're taking out Kyogre either way. We do start getting the Vine Lash going off. And is this thing going to set up a Trick Room? I'm just going to go for a Water Spout. It's going to be easy eats. Easy eats, man. I'm going to get some HP back from this. I don't want to get Ho-Oh out here. Kind of do. Another Vine Lash will just take out Jelly Belly. No problem. He's probably going to Dynamax the next Pokemon. And we might just quit this battle. We might just quit this battle. But yeah, we, our Sun Team's taking out Kyogre's. going to go Rilla. Rilla Billa. He's going to set the Grassy Surge. And I, he might go for a high horsepower over onto my Ninetale slot. But I might just swap. I might just swap. I am going to go for a Vine Lash here. Take you out. And I am going to swap Ninetales out into Ho-Oh. Just in case he goes for that high horsepower. I'm going to play it a little bit smarter here. 
Let's just cancel the battle. There we go. Quick second battle. We go 2-0. Oh. We can look for a perfect record in our third. Your boy's been buzzing. We have been absolutely killing it on the ranked double ladder. We are looking for a perfect record for three videos in a row for the Jeans Online Gamma Community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. That would be crazy if we can go three videos in a row. I think the most I ever did was two back to back three nos. This will be a new Jeans Online Game Community record. But we're going up against a Necrozma team. Which is, he's steel type, he's steel and psychic, which is great. He has a Gastron, which he's probably not going to bring any else. He has Tyranitar, he might bring the Tyranitar just to kind of get some weather control on it. Um, he has the Mimikyu, Zapdos. I definitely want to bring Ho-Ho here. ho is awesome, and we're showing him off. Got to bring Ninetales, but I don't know if I should lead Ninetales. That's the thing, because he might bring Tyranitar just to kind of go from there. I kind of want to go Venusaur. I definitely want to lead Venusaur. He's just such a strong lead. I kind of want to go Whimsicott, where I might lead Charizard and... Ooh... We go here and here and go Ninetales Ho-Oh. I am liking that. I actually am really liking that. I just had the rock. The rock is definitely scary. Actually, let's withdraw you. I have eight seconds. I see the time. I see the time, guys. I'm going to get Venusaur. We're going we're to leave Charizard out of this one. We are going to leave Charizard out of this battle or out of this video. We haven't used them all, all, these, uh, all these battles, all three of them. But it's okay, you guys already know what Charizard does. He's been in Sun Team since he uh, came into the game. He's been dominating. So we're here to show off Ho-Oh -Oh and uh, the Sun Team here. So it's, it's not a big deal if I get Charizard in or not. It's not like, oh my god, you didn't, you didn't show us how to play Charizard. <laughs> you guys already know. But who's he going to go into? Zapdos was what I was kind of scared about. That's why I didn't go into the uh, Charizard. That, that kind of threw me off, the, the Zapdos here. But I think I'm going to throw him to sleep. I am wondering what Carbink is going to do. I am really wondering what Carbink is going to do. I'm going to Tailwind, and I am going to say, Hey, yo, Zapdos, take a nap for me, please. He does have the air moves, which is still kind of scary, but we got the Tailwind rolling. We should be able to get uh, full speed going here. Full speed ahead. All the board to Gene's online gaming community train. Sleep Powder comes out. Yes, it does connect. Beautiful. Sleep Powder's working well. It's working well. Slump that bird. I wonder what Carbink's up to. That's my question. What is Carbink up to? That's what he's up to. That is what this little buttery biscuit's up to. Oh, I don't like you one bit. I don't like you one bit, Carbink. I'm going to Sludge Bomb over onto this slot. I'm going to set up a growth. He might swap. But I'm going to drop an energy ball. That's what this buttery biscuit is up to. I was wondering. I was sitting there. I was like, yo, what, what does Carbink do? This little rock ice thing that just chills in mines and stuff. What are you gonna do? And he's just like, yo, trick room. I think I'm gonna get after it. And he's gonna set up rocks? You set up rocks? You crazy, dude. This dude's crazy. You wake up? You wake up, huh? Bruh, bruh. This game. Dog water. <laughs> you wake up. What the heck, man? Give me a poison, at least. Energy ball comes out. You wake up. A boy wakes up, huh? Not a fan of that one bit. Not a fan of that one bit. So, this for here. I might uh swap it to the nine tails for that uh, Venusaur. Wake up. What the heck's this game's problem? Guess we'll go for another energy ball here. Yeah, I think we'll go for another energy ball and we'll swap Venusaur for nine tails. For nine tails, yeah. Get after that. Venusaur's minus two. He's really, he's really doing nothing. I should probably should have kept him in and try to get off another sleep powder. See what happens here. Oh my god. I forgot about the stones, man. Oh, we're sitting in a tough spot. They're all because this dude wakes up in a meteor. Hey! Does this thing power herb? There's no way it's power herb. There's no way it's power herb. It's power herb! Bruh! Chew on me! Chew on me! Yo! <laughs> Yo, Carbink! What are you doing? This thing's nasty! We are Sash. Oh my lord. Oh my lord! What is going on here? Energy ball's popping. Can we KO? Thank you. All right, we get, we get rid of that thing. Uh, I might memento here. Gotta get rid of you. Gotta go into here, so we're gonna Dynamax you here. 
Uh, I think I'm just gonna try to get rid of that Zapdos. Kind of bother me. He's a good old Pokemon. And his, his next Pokemon he throws out is gonna be his Dynamax mod. Do not like. <laughs> that thing had Meteor Beam and a Power Herb. Oh, this battle's looking tough, guys. Battle's looking tough. But this has been our longest win streak for YouTube videos. Necrozma is gonna come out here, which I do not mind. He could eerie impulse me. I really don't care. Oh, oh. Um, who should I? How should I place one? I am gonna memento here and drop someone's stats. I think I'm gonna drop. Nick. Oh my lord, that damage is embarrassing. Hate this game. I think I'm gonna do that to you. Memento onto you. I am gonna Dynamax and Flare and take you out. I think that's play. Oh my lord, that's Stone Edge. Well, not Stone Edge, that's Stealth Rock. It's so much damage. I'm flying, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Jesus. Necrozma comes out here. He might just be able to dump all my... No, there's no way he... he's, go... he's going to go after my what's called. I don't know. Oh, it might go down here. I don't like this. We're sitting in Trick Room. But I am going to be able to get off this lovely little momentum. But I have to Dynamax. Oh, I have to. He's my Dynamax mod. He is my mod here. We're going to pick up this win. It's going to be because of him. Oh, dude. Ugh, the Stone Edge. Did me dirty. Did me so dirty. Look how much damage that did. Like a substantial amount. More than half. Hardbank MVP. Hardbank MVP. So we do that. And he's going to be able to go for a rock ball. Oh. Oh, no. Hopefully, the outspeed is after this. That still KOs me? It's not even stab! It's not even stab! That's GG's. That is GG's. Jesus, man. Rough third battle. Real rough third battle for your boy. Real rough, but that was pretty cool what his car bank was up to. Car bank was total MVP. Was total MVP. All I have is Venus for left. We didn't get sweep because we took out the car bank. But I want to see this thing's stats. Like, is he minus three? I think he's minus three or something along those lines. Let me see this one. We're going to uh, Necrozma stats. I didn't think Necrozma was going to kill me, even with that rock ball. But he's minus two. Still. I was like, not stab. Like, come on, man. It's like, come on. Do me dirty. I guess I'll sludge bomb. I guess I'll sludge bomb here. <laughs> we'll run this one out. Here goes to Quake. Gonna get special defense boost. She's smart little cookie. She's playing real good. I had to show off Necrozma too. This was really good. This one is an absolute beast. Let's roll out. Two and one. Not bad though. We got the show off Ho-Oh in that first battle. They're pretty good. We got the Dynamax. Eerie Impulse is gonna come out here. This was just a tough third battle. He had Eerie Impulse for my special attackers. Uh, he was able to uh, get off that Trick Room and that Car Bank was phenomenal. Car Bank got off that Stone Edge. I just I gotta run this one. This one's over. <laughs> this one's totally over with. But definitely that Car Bank threw me off. Was able to set off a Trick Room, get off a Meteor Beam on a Nine Tails, and set off that Stone Edge. Well, not Stone Edge. Set off that uh, Stealth Rocks, which was phenomenal. Like that did so much damage. It's actually pretty cool. We got to see that too because I never seen that before. But solid set of battles. Two and one did really really well today. Awesome set of battles for today's video. Went 2-1, which was actually really, really good. We got to show off Ho-Oh in that first battle by Dynamaxing him. He was in all of our teams, so we played pretty well. The second battle, we just dominated. Make that a quick one with our Dynamax Venusaur. And the third battle, we just got outplayed by a car bank team. It was pretty cool to actually see, but that guy definitely deserved the win on us. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Shout out to my boy Will or Andre. Again, I don't know your name, considering your Instagram name says Will, but down here it says Andre, so hopefully one of those is correct. Shout out to you, my dude, for dropping this team. It was fire. Had a lot of fun with it and got some wins with it. Got the winning record, which is which is pretty much all that matters. But seriously, you guys rock out. Thank you so much for the support. Make sure you guys spread some positivity today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.